Szilard. Leo Szilard, born on February 11, 1898, died on May 30, 1964, was a Hungarian-born American physicist and inventor. In 1939, he conducted the first sustained nuclear chain reaction and drafted the letter to President Franklin Roosevelt that persuaded him to develop the atomic bomb. Szilard worked on the Manhattan Project. Leo Szilard was born in Budapest, Hungary. From 1908 to 1916, he attended Trialiskola High School and in 1916 he won the EOTVOS Prize, a national prize for mathematics. In 1917 he was drafted into the Austro-Hungarian Army but contracted the Spanish flu and did not go into battle. After the war, he continued his studies at the Technische Hochschule in Berlin, where he took classes from Albert Einstein, Max Planck and Max van Laue. In 1923, he received a PhD in Physics from the University of Berlin and his doctoral thesis on the manifestation of thermodynamic fluctuations won top honors. In 1928, he submitted a patent application for a linear accelerator, and in 1929 he applied for a patent for a psychotron. In 1933 he left Germany and went to Vienna, and in 1934 he moved to London and joined the physics department of the Medical College of St. Bartholomew's Hospital. He and British physicist T. A. Chalmers developed the first method of separating isotopes. In 1937, he accepted a post at Columbia University, where he continued to work on a continuous chain reaction with Enrico Fermi. In 1939, he discussed the development of a sustained nuclear reaction with Albert Einstein, and he drafted a letter to President Roosevelt, recommended the development of the atomic bomb. From 1942 to 1945, he worked with Enrico Fermi at the University of Chicago, to construct the first nuclear reactor. He became a U.S. citizen in 1943. In 1946, he became professor of biophysics at the University of Chicago. After World War II, he promoted the peaceful uses of atomic energy and founded the Council for a Livable World. In 1959, he received the Atoms for Peace Award and in 1960, he was named Humanist of the Year. He died in his sleep of a heart attack.